Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Stay and Gamers, and welcome. So today is Thursday, and Thursday means one thing. We've got an exciting new update from the Space Engineers developers, and you're probably wondering what you'll be getting your hands on this week. Now, we're out here at one of my Far Reach outposts to show you some of the updates, some of the new blocks, some of the new features, and I've got some assembly little features over there to show you as well. But first off, I want to talk about the new character model. Now, they introduced this new sort of strange alien character model. I've never, I've never seen this sort of creature before. Maybe it's from sort of a distant, far galaxy in the distance, but it's really cool. No, I'm just messing with you. This is actually a little bit of a funny modded joke that they added in the latest patch. You can download this and you've actually got a deer head on the astronaut body. That looks really stupid, especially with this latest bug with the legs where you start spazzing the legs out. So let's actually tear right into the meat of this update. Obviously, no offence to our deer character. We're going to get ourselves inside the station. We're going to open a few of these doors and we're going to have a look at some of the new objects. So we'll bring down our second security door and we have actually entered into one of our substations we'll bring this door down and as we're doing that we'll actually bring up the g menu and inspect the new blocks so these are modules that you can add to the refinery and the assembler well some of them can be added to the refinery and some of them can be added to the assembler and they increase the productivity the effectiveness or the power efficiency so they're actually in here in this little room i've got a broken reactor there that needs fixing you can see we've got the power module We've got the, I believe this is the productivity. So this one is just made for producing maximum amounts of ore. And then that feeds that into a system that brings it over to these little supply crates here for me. So now that we're over at this platform and we've seen these module blocks in a little bit scenario over there, help aid in my production in that facility, we can actually have a look at each module a bit more specifically. Now, first off, we have the power module. If you want to do a very low sort of power consumption build or you've got a ship that doesn't have really the space for large reactors, this could be perfect for you. So first off, what we wanna do is just rotate it into position here and you can see how them little docking ports clip onto the back. I put it in red and we can go around to the side and we're going to look at the refinery settings or so control panel and you actually see the power effectiveness is 150% and the max output is 374.49 kilowatts. So that's how much is required to actually use this with this machine. So let's actually take that module up and see how much that power consumption goes up to because it's supposed to lower it. You can see it's gone up to a mighty 560.00 kilowatts. So that is a considerable saving on power. So if I decided to add a number of power saving modules, so let's add it to max of all the power saving modules that we can actually add onto the side there. We go back to this and we go to control panel, of course, and we've refined the power efficiency has actually gone up to 500% and the max required input is 112, so that's a really small amount of power. Perfect for them solar powered builds, as well as a small ship that might not be able to actually have larger reactors in it. Now, moving on to the effectiveness sort of box, or the effectivity sort of block, it is really only limited in its usage. Now, it can't be used with the assembler like the other two blocks can, so it, it limits the process even more, and I found this block a little bit useless to use. Now the main purpose of it is to help produce ore a little bit faster but it's not very useful. I'll tell you exactly why. I did a little bit of research. I got myself some gold ore and I whacked it into this machine. Now at stock with nothing attached to it, it produced 0.5 AU ore in about 18.88 seconds. Now with the production module, it nearly halved that time. It did about 10 seconds it took to produce that 0 0.5. And with the effectivity sort of block, it took around 15 seconds. So the installation, in my opinion, was not really that useful at all. So the production block is definitely something to go with over the effectiveness block as well. The production block can also be fit to the assembler to help you produce parts in that department as well. So to show you some of the benefits of adding the productivity block to your actual refinery, I'm gonna have a look at its stock. So it's actually going through some of my gold AU. You see it's producing at a very slow sort of rate, but let's actually put some productivity sort of modules on the side. Now, if we go back to this menu, it feels like it's already sped up. So if I go here, refinery, you can see the productivity is at 
and the output is going to be going a lot faster. You can see how it's flying through the percentage of each bit of ore. Now, the downside to this is if we go to the control panel, it's requiring a lot more power to actually produce through the ore at this rate. So it could be a little bit of a problem. So let's actually remove them and talk about optimal sort of configurations. Now, the more of these you configure together, the more sort of power you'll get out of each one of them. So let's get another refinery in here. If I can, grab that refinery from the top of my table. Oh, and I missed it completely. Refinery, grab. There we go. And now if I place this secondary refinery on top, it allows me to do configurations such as this one. So I can actually add these to the middle part. Now, both of the refineries will benefit from this block. And at the same time, I can conserve power by perhaps adding a power saving block on each side. So we'll actually have a look at what sort of effect that has done to each one of these little refineries. So we've got one refinery, two refinery, and you can see that the percentage has gone up to 300% effectiveness. So I guess it halves the actual effectiveness when you split them between the two refineries. So that's quite an interesting feature to learn about, but it's just really cool indeed. Now, the final thing in this mod that I'm really happy to say is finally been implemented. You can see how I usually roll with my screen with nothing on it at all, no HUD, no overlay. But if I enable my HUD, you can see that we've got an antenna. And the problem is, is you require a lot of antennas to actually navigate around in space. But the problem is, is you don't need them all at the same time. So now if I go to my actual inventory, press K and bring up info tab, you can actually see we have a distance on the antennas that are actually invisible. So the first one is friendly, the second one is enemy, and show distance for owned antennas. So this can be really used and sort of manipulated, so you don't have to have all that clutter on your screen. So that antenna at that station is only about five, well not five or 10, it's about 30 meters away. So if I lower the direction to about one or two, you can see how that antenna has actually gone off. If I go back to that menu, and say for instance, I want to see my far reach outposts, I increase that to maximum, and then that antenna is now available to see. So overall, a really cool update, and I can't wait to see what we're going to do with these new modules. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you 